Hello, it's Tom here. I've got a great story for you today, if you like engineering. I'm at CTL Seal in Sheffield, where they've got an open day going on for something really special. This factory normally builds uh, high-tech components for the renewable energy industry, oil and gas industry, the nuclear industry, but they're currently also helping to build not just one, but two brand new steam engines. Yes, it is 2023. Hundreds of people came to the open day to see technology from the last century being shaped by the tools and processes of today. Let's take a closer look at the engines. This is a British Railways Standard Class 6, otherwise known as a Clan Class. Only 10 were ever built. Right alongside, not quite so advanced, is a B-17, better known as a Sandringham class. There were 73 of these, but like the clan, all were scrapped and none made it to preservation. They were largely seen up in Scotland, five were based in Glasgow and five were based at Carlisle Kingmore. So they would run down to Crewe or down to Leeds. And I think they'll look a beautiful loco. I think far better than the Class 7s. They seem to be more streamlined. They were just a good all-round locomotive. A B-17 is a 460 designed by Sir Nigel Gresley. It was his only 460 and he designed them specifically to run between Liverpool Street, uh, Ipswich and Norwich because at the time, in the late 1920s, the loading gauge of the bridges wasn't sufficient to take the heavier Pacifics, so he needed a lighter locomotive. Since moving into CTL Seal, both groups have had a boost, not only from the facilities to hand, but also because they can learn from each other. You'll see in the front of the workshop the bogey, the front bogey, which goes underneath the smoke box. We've got virtually all the components for that. They just need assembling. We've started putting together a schedule for building the pony truck. Then we've got a rolling chassis, but we'll improve it even further when we get the driving wheels done and then the cylinders. Well, we've got a pattern nearly finished for the cylinders. We've got a foundry lined up to cast those. We've got a plan to finish it in 2029. It's always subject to fundraising, so the more money that comes in, thank you very much, um, it will, we'll build it quicker. The chassis is now certified for main line. What we're now aiming to do is we are collecting or making all the parts to turn it into a rolling chassis. So that's the tyres, the roller bearings, the wheels, the axles, etc. All gradually coming together so we can put it on wheels within about 12 to 18 months from now. As for CTL Seal themselves, there's a tremendous amount of pride about bringing locomotive construction back to the steel city of Sheffield. Five years ago, we got a phone call from uh, Standard Steam Locomotion and they asked me if we wanted to be involved in building a loco. It took me around about 10 seconds and I agreed. I'm not an enthusiast, but I love engineering. But the more I get into heritage locos, I'm getting more enthusiastic. That enthusiastic, now I've become a chairman of the Sanders Steam Locomotion Company. This is what I call proper engineering. We're working from the old drawings, using some of the old methods, and we're bringing technology into it as well. The B17, we're going to do things a little bit different. They've seen how the Ingus is getting built, and they started taking some of them processes and introducing it into their own local. I would like around about four locos being built here. In your works here? In his works. Which is extraordinary because Doncaster closed down building steam engines a long, long time ago. Oh, it's, it's a good market to be in. And, and the people we actually meet, they've got a wealth of knowledge. The young men that we've got are learning from them. So why not? Oh, it makes all the difference. And look at the assembly shop we're in. You know, rather than stuck in um, a little siding somewhere at the end of a heritage railway, we've got all this. One of our members, he said, wow, this is like a cathedral to engineering. And I think, great, it is. 